Hello everybody, this is HyperCold64, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. In the last episode, um, we talked to Goompa, we encountered Kamikoopa, or Kamikoopa found us, and blocked the way to Toad Town. So in this episode, we need to uh, get the hammer from um, Goompa, um, so we can bash down that block and keep going with the game. Um, where are my guys? Um, dang it. This is what happens when you have to work with this dude. Uh, okay, that should be good. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're gonna get that uh, hammer from Goompa. So uh, let's uh, wait. Um, what? Oh crap! No! Of course. Oh, by the way, this song is awesome. Do 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 Okay. Oh man, what happened? Oh my back. Who's that? That you, Mario? I remember a great crashing noise and then the. Whatever it is, collapsed and I fell. Did you fall too? Step down the door into the air, did you? Well, uh, we're both okay. The problem is, we can't get home because that block's in the way. Block. This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Um, where did it go? We do need to fix, um, whatever, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm. Where to be seen? Guess I must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, better look for it. Okay. So we can't progress until then. there's this thing here, so let's go ahead and find that hammer. The hammer has got to be somewhere close by. It looks just like this. But for bushes, that might cover it up. If an uh, explanation point appears over your head, you can press A to search. So basically, this is a little bit more of a tutorial level, basically. Okay. So now we need to look for a hammer. So yes, if you press A near bushes, you um, pretty much get whatever comes out of it. Either nothing will come out of it, or something will come out of it. If something comes out of it, it will most likely be coins. And yay, we got it! You found the hammer! Mario can do the hammer attack now. Very nice. Ah, oh, there we go. That's it, that was the hammer. I'll wagger that if you... If you use that hammer, you can break the block that's in our way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. Nice hammer. That coin there. Hit this. And now let's hit this tree. So yeah, make sure to hit trees a lot, because there's a lot of things that can come out here. Like this. There's a little doll. It's a doll that Goombaria lost. Give it to her and you'll get a star piece, I think. Um, or at least I think it's a star piece. I don't think it's a star piece. Which, I should probably explain to what star pieces are. Star pieces are basically one of the collectibles in the game. There are 150 star pieces collected in all of them. And like I said, I'm not 100% in this game, so I will not be getting all of them. Sorry if you guys want this to be like a 100% run, but I just can't do it. And it's not really worth to collect them all anyway, because you don't really get anything after being a fob ball, so, yeah. Hmm, well, found a hammer, so I guess we should hit for all. Youch! Uh oh. Alright, this guy. Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot on my room here without my permission. Nobody! Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Okay, guys, so here is the first um, boss battle, I guess you could say. Okay, so this is the first boss, I guess you could say. I wouldn't consider it a boss, but this is Junior Shuba. And uh, don't think this is the last time you'll encounter him. You'll encounter him many times in the game. Trust me. I'll explain about that later. But anyway, um, we can now use a hammer. And uh, strategies, just to remember. Um, you can actually run away from battles, just remember, just like in the last game. Oh, I forgot to do something. Crap. That's not good. Gotta attack him. So yeah, just keep on attacking him and you should be able to get him. 
Later on in the game, we'll learn something called um, action commands, where it will allow us to um, do a lot more dances to people. Which, uh, just for the record, um, one thing that um, I like about the Thousand Year Door that I didn't like about this game is that in the Thousand Year Door, you get action commands right at the beginning of the game instead of uh, a little bit later in this game. In, in the game. In this game, you get action commands a little bit later. Which, honestly, isn't really. I don't know. Oh, two attack. That's so threatening. Now you die. Yeah! And those things are, um, star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you, set up, you save up 100 star points, you go up a level. Always try hard to get points. Alright, start star points. Nice start. Shoot, I was winning too. I'll be back. You were win- You weren't even winning at all! I mean it, I'll be back! He does mean it, actually. He will be back. Let me explain uh, about that. Um, in this game, Junior Troopa will actually be appearing after every single chapter in the game. Um, or, he'll be appearing multiple times in the game. Mostly after um, chapters are over. By the way, we can't destroy this yet. We need a certain hammer. As you can see. Um, there are certain hammers you can uh, collect in this game. Um, and you know, you know, I'll explain all everything later. But this is a um, yeah. If you hit this block, your your HP heart points will be fully recovered. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, if you saw that um, um, if you um, we just saw that um. Oh, by the way, this is a fire flower. A flower that burns all enemies with fireballs. Attack power three. This is an item, by the way. You got an item! Yeah, I feel so proud. And by the way, you can use uh, items by uh, pressing left on the C stick. Um, um, there are only some items you can use on the overall, though. You can use all the items on the um, battlefield. Uh, this block we can't destroy yet. We need a certain hammer. Um, and that we, uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. I can't really explain things wrong. Heads up, Mario. I see b bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy on the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get a first strike when you enter this the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battle. Besides, so I was saying, we need a certain hammer to uh, destroy that, um, uh, gray block, which we will get later in the game. Alright. So, uh, for strike. Alright, so here's, uh, so here's pretty much how the battling thing works. I'll go more specific. Um, there are lots of types of enemies in this game. This is a Goomba. If I'm correct, he has 2 HP. Yep, 2 HP. And they are really easy to defeat, of course. Of course, they'd be really easy. This is the beginning of the game. And, uh, just for the record, as you progress through the game, enemies that you, um, Enemies that you thought that were hard at first in the beginning won't really be that hard later in the game. By the way, this is the spike Gooba. See a spike on the head? Be careful not to jump on him. We'll definitely get hurt. Of course, we'll get hurt. It's spikes! Pointing out the obvious, aren't you? Oh, wait! Derp! Why did I do that? Why did I. Can someone tell me why I just did that? Someone? No? Whatever. Anyway. So yeah, there are lots of enemies in the game, and as you progress through the game and level up, enemies that were hard in the beginning of the game will end up being easier later in the game. So yeah, that's pretty much how this game works. And uh, if I forgot to mention it, guys, um, actually, I didn't mention it yet. I really like the battle scheme in this game. The battle system is pretty good in this game. Although, in my opinion, I thought the battle scheme in uh, the Thousand Year Door was a lot better. Because, um... Well, it's my lover game. Uh, in this game, there are something called partners. Partners um, will be following along Mario throughout the entire game. You'll be collecting. We will uh, get a partner later in the game. Don't think that Koopa is a partner because he's not. But anyway, um, the thing about this game that differs between the Thousand Year Door than this game, partners don't have health. So if they get attacked, they um, they end up losing turns. But in the Thousand Year Door, they actually have health. And, in my opinion, I thought that was a better, uh, battle scheme. I mean, I don't know. This battle scheme's still good. 
Let's keep on going. This, this, this. Get going. Alright, here's our star pieces. I explained these earlier in the game. Um, and I forgot to mention this. Star piece can be used for, uh, one purpose. You can use it to buy stuff. I'll explain about that later on in the game as well. So let's just keep on going. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to you and Mario here. I made it back alright. My foot is falling asleep again. Jerk, you locked it for us. Dang it. Goomba! Where have you been? I looked outside and, wow, well, you and the thing were just plain gone. Goomba, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. Sorry, kids, I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, before I, before I forget, I decided to give Mario something. We here a minute. Huh? Hey, that dolly you got. That's the one Goom Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Yep. Use a present. Yep, we got a star piece. And take this, too. <laughs> you always seem to beat up your en your enemies. Do you work out? I say self-defense by reading books by by the masters and listening to Dan and Goomba. And I also exercise every day, so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Goombario's head is hard as a rock. When he does a hitbox move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Goombario. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Show off. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rap. We're just rapping with Mario. What? Rapping? What the heck? Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry. I wanted to give this to Mario. We get the power jump. Uh, this is a badge, by the way. Um, and you can only use them once you equip them in the menu. Uh, I'll explain that later. Now remember, you need flower points to use the power jump technique. Do you remember that? those things? Well, these blocks will restore not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your AP and FP reserves are getting low. Bye to bye, Mario. I heard from Goomba. You're taking upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush, Mario. Mario, please take this hammer. It's assured you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd have come to you on church trip. I, I have done some damage. The years of sorrow await, though. I tell you, this, lo this lower back pain. Adventure, you're so lucky. Pr Princess Rescue is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too. Oh, here's an idea. Goombario? Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child anymore, and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go, Goopa? May I really go? Yes! Oh, yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. Alright, here's our first partner of the game. Goombario, join your party. Alright, so here, now each partner has an ability that he can do. Here's Goombario's. Press down, t press, press uh, down C to have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. Gubario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with a headbunk or tell you about an enemy's features and HP using the Tattle ability. Way to go, Gubario! Mario, I know Gubario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. Weepy. Reeling. Intelligent systems. This is so cool, Mario. Let's go. But wait. Your HP's a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. Yeah, we have a partner that 
follows us everywhere and crap. And I think I'm gonna stop it here, guys, since um I think we've gone through a pretty good battle progress. So, um in the next episode, we will finally destroy that block and head off to Toke Town. This is Apricol64 signing out.